any other unspoken prayer requests, you can make them known by the raising of your hand. So I will acknowledge this on our heads in prayer. Lord, Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for bless us, Lord, to gather together in this place of worship just one more time. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for dying upon the cross for our sins, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the water back to be your precious name, Lord, and the infilling of the Holy Ghost, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for all that you have for the Lord that you're going to do, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the word that we heard upon this morning, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the word you are about to receive on this evening. Now, Lord, we ask, Lord, to put all these prayer requests that have been submitted before you, Lord, touch and move in each and every one of them according to your will. And Lord, we come to give your name, the praise, and the honor. Jesus said, we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
seek blessings. Yes. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for the tabernacle family choir for help leading us in praise and worship. And at this time, we'll pray to the Lord with our gift. Yes. So we ask this time and us to come to help us receive this evening's topic. Oh, amen. And I'd like to remind the church, amen, that coming up on the uh, 10th and the 11th is the winner <coughs> of the Oklahoma uh, the Oklahoma District Ladies Conference, amen? So please avail yourselves accordingly. And also, coming up on the 19th of uh, November is the Newburgh Tabernacle Thanksgiving Dinner. It will be after church, and there is a sign-up sheet in the foyer where people are signed up to bring certain items for the dinner. And then don't forget to invite family, friends, relatives, and enemies if that be, and come and celebrate Thanksgiving with us, amen? Everybody. Minister Allen, you please bless the all. Thank you. 
influence. Yeah. We rejoice in that. But I lost something in the house that was pretty valuable to us as my son and shoe. And it troubled me for two days. I did not know where it was. You did not know this morning when I walked back into a room, it was plain sight right there like the angel had placed it there. Amen. Surely I rejoice over it because it concerned me because we need the shoe. We need Amen. The so uh, that meant a lot to me because God is concerned about what concerns us. Me. That's right. Amen, amen. Well, thanks, Sister Devil, for that testimony. Amen. God is concerned. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord for the CJ. Um, I want to thank God because I know it's, it's been about two months, almost three months, since I got my new job, and they're already looking to promote me. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Am
And CJ. Hey, come on. God is good. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everyone. Amen. I want to thank the Lord for blessing me to be in this number, a member of this local assembly, yes. and seeing what God is moving and how God is operating in this particular part of the vineyard. Amen. I see God's hand. You know, when I get to, you know, I'm a human being. I'm a person just like anybody else. And there are times in my life where I get, uh, what you call, frustrated. Yeah, oh, yeah. And then I get discouraged. I get, 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 you know, sometimes I don't do it. I don't, it don't come out the way I, it should come out. But I thank the Lord because when, sometimes when I'm feeling down, I come to church. And it is the word of God and the testimony of the saints that encourage me to run on a little while right. long. Amen. To see how God is working in everybody's life. And it is a joy to be here. Amen. It is a strength to be here. Amen. And I thank the Lord for all that he has done. So at this time, amen, I want to turn the service over to the hands, the very capable hands of Minister Alan Singer, while the choir comes with their last song. Amen.
social media to help me to feel good about myself. Right. Amen. Jesus is all that I need. Anybody thank you that Jesus is all you need? Amen. Praise God. Second Kings chapter four. Yeah. Amen. Beginning at verse number one. Second Kings chapter four. Can we all stand in the reverence of God reading the top of verse. Second, uh, Second Kings chapter four, beginning at verse one. King James verse. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditors is come to take unto him, unto him my two sons, to be by me. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do to thee? Tell me, what hast thou in thy house? And she said, Thy handmaid hath not anything in the house save my Lord. Then he said, Go borrow the vessel brought of all thy nations. Even empty vessels, for are not a few. And when thou art come into, come in, thou sh thou should shut the door up thee. Right. And upon thy son shall pour out into all these vessels, yeah. and thou shall set aside that which is full. Right. So she went from him and shut the door up her her and upon her son, her, her. who brought the vessels to her. And she poured out, and it came to pass, when the vessels were full, that she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more, and the oil stayed. Right. Then she came and, to, and came and told the man of God, and he said, Go sell the oil, and pay thy debt, and live thou and thy children of the rest. Praise God. The subject to tonight is the creditor has come. The creditor has come. Bishop, would you pray? Amen. Would you clap your hands and give him some praise? Even today, um, in a whole lot of debt 
because it can seem like a long time trying to get free from the enslavement of debt collectors. Praise God. How many like those phone calls from the debt collector? Amen. So I think that you and I, I'm reaching for the Holy Ghost here. I think that you and I could actually understand to some degree the cry and the frustration of this widow. The collectors are lined up and they're coming for her boys. Somebody has got to pay the debt. And I don't know if you've ever been there. You've been broke and all these bills are stacked up. And all you have is enough money just to pay perhaps one or two. And you got several more that really, really need to be paid. Oh, hallelujah. And, you know, you would think that uh, oh, it's a neat idea. Go borrow some money to pay the bills. That's just more debt. Amen. Hallelujah. Consolidate debt. Let's just get another loan. And the interest rate goes so high. <laughs> Seems like it's forever. So to some degree, it's possible that we could relate to this lady. But there are several things that I believe is important to us when we look at the text. The creditor is come. Amen. It was, if there, if there, God help me here tonight. If there is ever a time we need to hear a word from God, I believe it's right now. This is important because the widow lady knew where to go to get a message. The widow lady did not check a man on the current Facebook page. The widow lady did not go to TikTok. I know she didn't have it. Amen. The widow lady didn't go to the man down the street. Amen. The widow lady did, amen, understood that she was connected to a man of God, hallelujah, who, amen, in times past have had a word from the Lord, hallelujah, amen. Now, how many of you know that hell, amen, this is not time to really give glory to the enemy, but the devil, hell, is playing for keeps. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say preach, preacher. Come on, somebody say preach, preacher. Oh, I wish I had somebody say preach, preacher. I'm, 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 not, I'm not trying to get you to give me a pat on the back and say sick them. I'm not, I'm not, if there's ever a cry that needs to come from the church, it needs to be preach, preacher. Hallelujah. Hey, come on, if, if there's ever a time that we need to hear, amen, from, amen, especially from a place that, amen, don't mind standing on the principles of truth, we need to say, preach, preacher, amen, it doesn't matter how it feels, it doesn't matter, amen, where it gets into, we, we need to say, preach, preacher, deal with my mess, deal with my struggle, deal with, come on, preach to me, preach. Anybody believe that and feel like that here tonight? Amen. Preach! Preacher! Come on, would you shout it? Preach! Preacher! Hallelujah! Corinthians tells us in the first chapter, in the 21st verse, that for after that, in the wisdom of God, the world, my wisdom, knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that any believer in the house. Uh, come on, that's why you cannot take the sermons, the messages, the things that you hear from the pulpit and shovel it back 
to somebody. Praise God. Because God said that is the very thing that I chose uh, to save uh, the believers. Hallelujah. It's the preaching of the word of God. Come on, somebody shout it. Preach. Preacher. Hallelujah. Amen. We need, I don't have it right here in my notes, but amen. I thank God for this bishop. I thank God for this preacher. I thank God, hallelujah, amen. And there are, thank God, that, that, that there are many other men of God, amen, who grace pulpits uh, that don't mind telling you, amen, the unadulterated word of God. Hallelujah. The only way that you and I is going to get out of the hell's fire is if somebody stand flat-footed, amen, in an apostolic setting and just declare, amen, what thus saith the Lord. It doesn't matter the pressure. It doesn't matter what's going on in our society. Amen. Somebody say the word of God is still right. Come on, somebody say preach. Preacher, hallelujah. Stand against, amen, unrighteousness. Stand against things that, amen, doesn't please God. Come on, somebody say preach. Preacher, come on. We need oil, hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, we got found herself in a situation where she wanted more than just a few songs and a good feeling. The creditor was after her voice. Anybody ever felt the pressure of society doing everything he could to claw at your children? Oh, help me now, Jesus. Come on, anybody ever? Oh, hallelujah. Felt that listen, there are so many backsliders, prodigal sons and daughters, hallelujah, that's tied to new birth tabernacle. Here's my prayer tonight. God, in this house tonight, you can do a miracle and come our next service. Some prodigal son or some prodigal daughter can walk through the doors because somebody said, I need some oil. boys. The devil is trying to tear down everything that is right that comes from God. Hallelujah. Amen. He's doing his best to get everybody to hating right things and loving the wrong things. Amen. And that's why we need the preaching of the word of God. And not only do we need the preaching of the word of God, Somebody say we got to have a proper response to the word of God. Amen. I th I'm thankful for the message this morning. Oh, that man shouted, didn't he, Bishop? I, I, I don't know if I could have walked out of the house without lifting my voice. <laughs> you told me this morning that my miracle was in the shout. God forbid that I didn't shout. Now, come on, somebody. God forbid that all I did was a pretty hand clap. God forbid that all I did was just look. Come on. If my miracle came from the messenger and said it was in the south, then this morning I should have got a shout on. Come on. Anybody in there's got to be a proper response to the preached word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And when that boy shouted, Jesus stopped. Oh, thank you, Lord. And he said, and he didn't tell the guy. He didn't speak to the guy, Bishop. He said to the people standing next to him, go get him. And that's why when somebody's in the service and they're leading some way or somehow and they say, clap your hands up, amen. I may not have heard it, but they probably heard the Lord say, tell them to put their hand up. Come on, you could have got a miracle by just clapping your hands. You could have got a miracle by just doing whatever. Oh, come on, somebody. Anybody believe that the Lord is still working and doing miracles here today? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So I don't know about you, but I'm so thankful. Anybody thankful for that? Amen. Anybody feel the lingering effects of 
that word. Come on, can you just shout hallelujah? Hallelujah! Oh, glory! Need some real deliverance. I'm not going to let hell or other people around me silence the voice that I have. I've got to let my voice like a trumpet. The Bible says to cry out and to spare not. That's why I want my quiet church. Our generation so desperately need men of God who will hear and declare what thus saith the Lord. Amen. And in this generation, it's, it can be difficult, but in this generation, amen, you can just pull out your phone and scroll on YouTube yeah. Yeah. or Facebook and find a sermon that will suffice. But I thank God that he sent us to a place. Aren't you glad he sent you to a place? Yes. And in that place, he gave you a preacher. Yes. Amen. 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 And that preacher hears from God for you. Hallelujah. Can you thank the Lord for that? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't care if it's one of Pentecost's famous preachers. Hallelujah. That's not the man of God that the Lord set over your life. Hallelujah. Come on. I thank God for Elisha. I thank God for the prophet. Hallelujah. I thank God. Come on. Hallelujah. The woman, amen, is in dire need. The creditor is knocking at her door. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm telling you, you're not going to get what you need off of Facebook. You're not going to get what you need off of YouTube. You're not going to get what you need off of those quick reels that, that shows up, that sound good. Hallelujah. You're going to get what you need when you walk into this house and you say, Preacher, 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 help me out of my mess today. Help me out of my struggle today. Help me out of my problems today. Preach to me, preacher. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. So when you come to the house of God, I come with the hunger. Amen. I, I, I need something more. Hallelujah. Come on. I, I know I preach, and I know, amen, these guys can attest to it, hallelujah, amen, but there are times uh, where I need Jesus uh, to walk right into my home and bring some help uh, and bring some hope uh, and bring some deliverance uh, into my house, hallelujah, because for some reason, uh, I just can't get it done, but God uh, said, I'm going to give you a preacher to help you to get it done. Come on, would you shout it, preacher, 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 save my household. She needed her house to be saved. Come on, this lady was serious. She needed a house to be saved. She wasn't interested in playing church. She needed a word from the Lord. She wasn't interested in just gathering together. She needed a word from the Lord. She needed something that would bring deliverance to her child. Her child needed deliverance. Her children needed help. Amen. And your children need something from God. You're in the right place. Oh, there is a word for you. Hallelujah. Come on, would you stand to your feet? Hallelujah. If you're a parent, hallelujah, come on. And begin to just give God glory. Or reach unto the Lord for your children. Your children, amen, need you to give them touch with the Lord. Come on, come on, I know they probably have there. I know there's some that probably in the bad situation. Hallelujah. Come on. Amen. And they probably won't tell you. Mama, please don't stop praying for me. Mama, please don't stop. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God can help you today. Hallelujah. 
Just feel that to the Lord for us. They might not listen to you, but come on, there's a word in the spirit. They might not even want to hear a word you've got to say, but oh, come on, you can touch heaven right now. Hallelujah. Amen. They may even reject your voice. And anything that sounds like you, they may reject that. But oh God knows how to bring somebody that will speak true to them. Oh God knows how to help you to somehow, hallelujah, touch the heart of a child that's rebellious. Of a young man, a young woman that's rebellious. Oh God, you can touch their hearts. You can Hallelujah. How long will you halt 
between two opinions. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm thankful tonight that we got a strong representative of the prophetic word of God. I'm thankful. I'm thankful tonight, hallelujah, hallelujah, that God is at work, hallelujah. Come on, there is a word that's going out into the atmosphere. There is a word, amen, that knows how to penetrate the walls and get out into the community and walk into the homes of all the backslidden sons and daughters. Come on, wake up, hallelujah, wake up, hallelujah, come on, somebody help me. from good wholesome time spent with God and one another. There is no oil to the man or woman who doesn't pray and see yeah. God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You want your oil to run out? Quit praying and reading. Yeah. The oil, though, even though it comes with the help of reading and praying the word of God, the oil also comes, amen, through many other ways. Sometimes it comes when we don't even want it. It comes through being misunderstood. Yeah. It comes through being lied on. It comes through the being rejected and through loss and the ups and downs of life. Amen. But you held on. Hallelujah. You made up your mind. I'm not giving up. I'm here to stay. Hallelujah. Amen. The oil was not made of just one ingredient. The oil was made of multiple ingredients. And in order to get it, it had to crush, had to be crushed. In our times in our life, we don't want to be crushed, but it's producing oil. Don't, don't lose the oil. Come on. If you have nothing else in your house, keep the oil. If you have nothing else in your home, come on, keep the oil. Don't turn out the lights of prayer. Don't turn out, hallelujah, times and hours of study. Don't you give up, hallelujah. And don't you quit, amen, hallelujah, holding on to God. And in those wee hours when you're crying and concerned, hallelujah, oil is being produced. What do you have in your home? This, this, that one thing, amen. One of the things that is going to help us in these last and evil days yeah. is that we maintain the oil. Yeah. You never know when the creditor is going to show up. You never know when life is going to cause you to be in a place of what they call now, amen, food or money insecurity. Amen. There will be a day that a shortage could arrive. And no amount of education, no human ingenuity, none of your hustles is going to work. But all oh, I wonder if there is a group of people who still have some oil in the house. Hallelujah. No, you haven't sold out to worldliness. Men are still lifting their hands without wrath or doubting. Women are still wearing dresses and not cutting their hair. I mean, listen, did you know, hallelujah, the Bible never said this about a man, but it said it about the woman, that there is power because of your uncut hair. Right. There, there are angels that are dispatched because of the authority, because of your long hair. There is, come on, that's why 
why we don't put scissors, uh, come on ladies, to our hair. Because the Bible says, uh, amen, uh, for, for neither in innocence, for this cause of the woman to have power on her head. Because of the angels, listen ladies, did you know you can pray in such a way that could release an angel to do your bidding? Come on, because there is power on your head. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. You can push back the devil because there is power upon your head. Come on. And I thank God for the meaning. But I'm telling you, the Lord has given power to our ladies when they pray, when they reach out to God. Your worship is not just a bunch of noise. Your worship is war. I wish I had. Mama can pray. Mm. Come on, help me here tonight. Am I doing all right? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama can pray tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, devil, you see this glory? Not my child. Devil, you see this glory? Not my family. Come on, devil, you see. Come on, ladies, help me here. Not my family. Hallelujah. Come on. And then when you put some strong men, amen, who lift up their hands without wrath and doubting, and you put them together, come on, you can release oil like never before. So ladies, can you help me? Can you help me? Would you say it one more time? We appreciate your dedication. Yes. Your sacrifice. Yes. The fact that you didn't cater, you said, I'm not going to cut my hair. You can release an angel here tonight. So our angels tonight. There can be an oil that flow in this house to your home and to your children tonight. Hallelujah. And I can't make you get loud. Oh, I just wanted to be out there. How would you want somebody to pray for you? Hallelujah. Come on, would you begin to lift your voice right now? Be God God. I might not even try to finish you. Come on. Would you lift your voice, ladies? Be God God. Come on. Come on, can I get a couple of men that'll stand and join your voice? Uh, come on, with these ladies here. Come on, something happens when we unify our voices. Uh, men, men, hallelujah, without wrath uh, and without pouting. Uh, come on, we can free our families. Uh, come on, we can free our homes. Uh, come on, we can free our homes. Come on, it ain't the choir pushing us tonight. It ain't the praise team pushing us tonight. This is coming from a desire to see the oil flow. This is coming from a desire to see something change in our families, in our children. Hallelujah. So why, bro? Why? Hallelujah. Come on, bro. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He got to grab your wife. Go ahead. Go ahead. Grab your wife. Come here, honey. Hallelujah. He got to Go ahead. Grab your wife. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. He got to He got to Come on, sisters. Y'all come out. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. He got to Come on. Let's, let's just walk and pray. Come on, let's believe God. Come on to release some backsliders. Come on. Ikatayaraba. Come on, join together. Come on, you mama. Come on, pray. Atakaraka. Come on, daddies, pray. Come on. Reka. Come on, Nia. Come on, pray. There's a generation that needs to be saved. Come on, there's some people that need to be touched by the power of God. Come on, there are sons and daughters that need to come home, that need the oil, that need the anointing. Come on, there's oil in the house. Come on, there's oil in the house. Come on, there's oil. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Pray as if you were out there. Pray. Come on, pray. 
Hallelujah, God. We want our children to get a hold of the oil. We want our young people to get a hold of the oil. We want backsliders to get a hold of the oil. Come on, call their names out. Come on, call their names out. Feel the angels in this house. Come on, the Lord is here. Take my information. Is it going to be on Facebook? Is it going to be on Twitter? Is it going to be all over the place? Where is the next sister next to me? Or the brother next to me? I'm trying to just expand my capacity because I got prayers coming after my children. So I had to say, okay, hey, bro, I'm just calling. So we all have people. We all have people. 
I got a brother that I want to see deliver. Yeah. His name is Dante. God can deliver. Yeah. I need your help. I need your help. I'm trying to expand my capacity. Because I want the oil to flow. He can come right to where he's at right now. Would you deal with me? Would you just lift up your voice and say, Jesus, would you touch Dante? Would you deliver him? He received the Holy Ghost once. Give it to him again. 